Hey, what's up, everybody? Route here from ENJ Cap, also trading finance with ENJ. Welcome back. Now, today I want to talk about interest rate. You're probably like, bro, what do you want to talk about interest rate for? Well, as an investor, you need to know how it works and how it affects the stock market. Now, I'm pretty sure everybody's heard of interest rate. It's the little percentage you get for having a savings account, but we're not really talking about that now. We want to know what exactly is interest rate. So interest rate is the price borrowers pay to lenders. This comes from owning a credit card, come from bonds, stocks, and real estate. Now, the Federal Reserve was created in 1913. Now, its job was to create and maintain interest rates for administrating the U.S. monetary policy. Now, bro, what is monetary policy? Now, the U.S. monetary policy is to promote maximum employment, stable prices, and moderate long-term interest rates. So that's U.S. monetary. The Federal Reserve has the power to manipulate the Federal Reserve funds rate. Now, what this is, is the interest rate that the Federal Reserve will charge banks like ours to borrow money. The Federal Reserve uses this to control inflation. Now, inflation is the cost of living goes up while the value of the dollar drops. I put this in the savings versus index video. Make sure you guys check that out as well. So higher interest means more money is going to be going to interest payments rather than shopping. And that can affect the market. So when business and people have to spend more money on interest payments, less goes to investing. So while a change in the federal fund rate doesn't immediately affect the markets, but it does affect corporate and consumers. Essentially, when businesses have to pay more to interest rates, that means they're going to be paying less for the dividend. And when people usually see dividends being decreased or being taken away, that's a bad sign for investors to find somewhere else to go. So if interest rates do change, it can affect the stock price to make it go down because corporates are gonna be paying more out to interest payment instead of future growth. So lower interest rates may attract new investors because the stocks may look more appealing to the investors now since the interest rates are going down. So lower rate aids to economic expansion as well as corporate growth. Lower interest rate, people are going to want to invest and that usually sends the share price of the stock up. When interest rates rise, the only direct impact is from the Federal Reserve for borrowing money. Now, when interest rates low, it usually sends a catalyst for growth. It's for interest, it's going to cost you more money on interest payments to borrow that money. So when interest rates fall, it's cheaper to borrow money. So this, this attracts investors and even corporates to borrow more money to keep their operations growing. Hey everyone, so that's the end of today's video. I tried to cram as much as I could into a three minute video because I know some of these videos can be long and you might get distracted. We don't want that. So if I miss anything crucial when it came to interest rates, don't worry, I will make another video to get into more detail and break it down and how it affects the market and how it can affect consumers and it can affect our borrowing power for money. So make sure you stay tuned to that. Stay healthy, stay beautiful, stay investing. Rel here, rel out. Peace.